Hi there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. So a couple of nights ago, I did a demonstration uh, failover, failing from my primary internet connection over to my cellular backup connection that I just got set up. And I did a couple of videos on um, how to do that for anybody else interested in backup internet and how it actually works. Uh, so basically what I got was a, a TP-Link router. Now this is uh, something I picked up a couple of weeks back. Um, it's one of the more basic TP-Link routers, but it is a 4G cellular router. It's got a SIM card slot in it, got a couple of antennas, and it picks up 4G onto that SIM card. And the way I have this set up is as a, um, as a backup or failover router. So the kind of network config, as I described in the previous uh, YouTube video, is that my ISP's router is going into the uh, WAN port of this uh, cellular router and uh, it's passing along the IST, ISP connectivity and I also changed a few settings so that it knows that it's running as a backup so that um, the cellular connection it can give is not the primary it's just a failover connection so if the ISP line your internet service provider your internet your home internet if that goes down the cellular will come in so um, I demonstrated that that worked, which was nice um, and good, but it didn't work quite as swiftly as I kind of had pictured. So I thought it was like an instant thing that one second you were, gonna, you were just using your home internet, then you took it out and then within a second. And um, if you ask anybody who knows about home networking, I've learned, they'll tell you that it never works exactly that instantaneously. So um, I thought it would, be interesting as an experiment just to repeat that failover test except this time to try to measure the length of time now i did a previous take of this video that almost ended in disaster because i used the dns disabling switch on my router which was not a good idea at all because so don't don't do that don't disable the dns button on your router because my isp had to like do something remotely to get it back i think uh in, a, in any event it, it, it was not smart so what i'm going to do this time is as i did before like physically remove the dsl from the um from the isp router just to simulate a complete drop off of connectivity and we're going to see how long it takes to kick in now i have found a useful website and it's called my is my internet your internet is working uh, is my internet working.com. So what I'm actually going to do um, is I'm going to uh, just take myself out of this here and I'm going to run over to the other side of the room, uh, pull out the DSL cabling from the um, from my router. And as soon as that has happened, I'm gonna come back here and hit start. So it's not gonna be a perfect process or be a couple of seconds of, um, of you know that it'll be so it'll just have to take two seconds off the results to account for the time it took for me to uh, wheel across the room in my chair. So uh, there is an auto test function. So I'm going to now set that to two seconds. So every two seconds, it's going to check my internet to see that it's up. And the second thing I'm doing here uh, is what is my what is my browser.com has a what's your ISP testing facility. And I'm going to just do a quick refresh just to show you guys. Uh, it's refreshed that I'm with Partner Communications. That's my ISP. So um, internet's good, internet's stable, internet's up. And now you're listening to me wheel, wheel, wheel across the room. And I'm going to take out the RJ11 cabling, the SL line to my ISP router. Three, two, one. Okay. It's been disconnected. And they should start saying no. Indeed it does. So um, we have we have done the big D's. Oh, the timer, the timer. Stopwatch. Uh, well, I guess I can measure later in the video. So this is going to be like 10 seconds off, unfortunately. Uh, so let's see. We're at like, let's say, 15 seconds so far. Um, and we're still not having internet. Um, but let's see. I think the last time I got like 30 seconds for the failover. So that really wasn't bad. I mean, how often does this happen? Not that often, um, but it's not like two seconds. Even even without that time where I was like forgot to start this on time. Um, so what should be happening now is the t the t ah, here we go. Okay, so thirty five seconds um, was what I recorded, but I also 
fail to start this on time, right? So I need to add, it's very late in the morning and my brain is not working so well. I need to add uh, like a bit more time to, uh, to that to actually account. So I would say about like 45 seconds for that failover to happen. And now if I do a refresh here, it should say something like, I forget it, it's like X phone or X018. It's not really the name of the phone company. It's like their pairing company, X phone. There we go, X phone 018. So now we now we know we are using the um, we're using the line of the cellular. Um, so what I'm going to go what I'm going to go ahead and do now is repeat the process. So forty let's say forty five seconds um, on failover to cellular. Now let's see how long it's going to take to get us back to the ISP line. So I'm going to now. Um, do my wheelie trick again, reset the stopwatch, and let's see how long this one takes. So stopwatch is going to be cleared, zeroed, and wheeling across the room again. And this time getting the DSL cable and save, I'll tell you the moment it's in. Okay, it's in. So this time let's get the stopwatch. Um, it's saying yes, but it's going to be saying yes anyway because there is internet. So the more trying test is going to be, or the more telling test will be when this switches back to partner. So X phone, still X phone, 14 seconds in, still X phone. I'm just going to turn the writer around back to its usual config. Still X phone, still X phone. 30 seconds. So if it was 45 seconds on the way out, I wonder is that like just what it takes for the router to detect these configuration changes and swap over. So I'm just checking the DSL light is back up on the router. So the router has it, the router's passing it along, and now we're just waiting on the satellite router to actually take note of its shifted connectivity circumstances. And this is actually taking longer. So it's taking, interestingly enough, taking longer to fail back over to ISP than it was to fail across in the other direction. Well, that's not really the right word. Fail. I now I think we're going to get we're going to get partner because it's taking longer. But we're already into one minute and twenty seconds. I'm going to just open another one, and I think this is what happened the last time: is like it goes down for 15 seconds while um, it's doing its like change of network thing. Um, what is my browser.com or it could actually be the website. I'm just going to another, no, yes. Okay, I'm on another website now and it's saying that I'm on partner. So I think this is coincident. There we go, partner. Okay, so it was more like one minute and 30 seconds to fail back uh, to the ISP from the cellular. So uh, I guess this was like a somewhat interesting test. Um, I guess the, 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 what I've learned uh, is that it takes give or take 40 seconds um, for, from the time that your primary internet goes completely down, or at least on this TP-Link device, through to the point that it uh, feeds in the cellular and you get your backup line running. And when your primary internet comes, down, it comes back, it's going to take like, or on this on this particular uh, configuration with my ISP, my cellular, um, and the way I wired and the TP router I'm using, which again is the TP Link uh, 300 megabit per second TLMR100. Uh, with all those variables, it took approximately a little bit over a minute um, on the return side. So it actually took slightly longer to uh, provision the ISP line back than it did to do the failover. So that was interesting. Anyway, that was the test um, of how long the failover took. Uh, I hope this video was interesting. If you'd like to get more videos from me, please feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel.